entrepreneur, author, activist, recording artist, host, social media superstar, and more. Please welcome the queen, the new supreme, the irrepressible, T.S. Madison. Madison. T.S. Madison. T.S. Madison. Miss T.S. Madison. Mother T.S. Madison is yeah. in the building. I'm just a trans woman that expressed exactly how I feel when I feel like it. The internet really changed my life, like, completely. The internet queen and icon. What's up? We got to get in this thing. You were cooking him, girl. I was like, girl, I can hear the grease popping. What? <laughs> Social media maven. Yes, Madison. What is the experience? I'm fascinated by this. Well, to be honest with you, Harvey, it's a human experience. I was from the adult entertainment scene. I did walk the streets. You know, that that is my story. And that's a story for a lot of black trans women. If you're put into this situation right now where, where you're into a, a space that you really don't want to be in, make the best of it. Make the most money right. that you can and own all of it. You're going to build a whole entire empire out of this. And you took that money and you used that money and you flipped it to build this empire. So this is why I can you can no longer run through your backyard naked screaming. The haters keep chasing me. <laughs> it's just me navigating through the world as a trans woman with big dreams of, of being as big as Wendy, as big as Oprah on, on, on my television talk show. Because when I get there, because I'm coming, I just got a shiver in my back and it ain't a man. <laughs> I respect women. I have a different type of love for a woman. I think a woman is earth. Oh, that was deep. You're beautiful. You're strong. You're powerful. Young black women, young black trans women watching you out there every week, even though you got your little shade with it, you still a boss. You guys are, are on this journey with me. It's about fun, love, and family. Now that T.S. Madison is coming through this and other trans women like myself, it creates spaces for my black trans women to walk through and uh, not have to face or, or walk that road that I did before. I want to have my own version of the talk, the real, the view. Miss T.S. Madison! Oh my God, don't take me! Get ready, the T.S. Madison Experience. Now she's occupied, she's opening up spaces on the internet, on television, and that's why it is so imperative and important that I'm here today. I got one thing to say, Rue. What? New Wings, New Wings, <laughs> 22 inches, yes! Hey everybody, this is T.S. Madison, and if you are trying to grow your business, brand or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. It's morning, and we slip the night away. <laughs> Shout out at the song I want to say. It's Maddie in the morning, 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 Maddie in the morning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Wait, honey, it's nine o'clock somewhere. Get in here and watch the damn show. For to come in with, with the, I was trying. To, oh, you was trying to catch it. I was trying to catch it. You, you was trying to catch what it is. I was, I was. I just want to let y'all know it's a real nigga birthday, not mine, but another real nigga. <laughs> so everybody, I want y'all to put y'all motherfucking hands together because it's today is Mo's birthday. He done came to work on his on this day. On this is the yes. day that the Lord, Lord has has made, made an act. Ah! Will rejoice and be, be glad mad. in Hallelujah. it. Hey, e b b b b, I yes, shout Lord. him out. Yes, Lord. Hey, e b b b, I shout him out. Yes, God Lord. damn it, it's Mo's birthday. 
And because it's Mo's birthday, you know, I need y'all to make sure that we get over in here and we do it only the way that we on the Maddie in the morning show know how to do it. Uh -huh. it's Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You. I want to say happy birthday. <laughs> to my daddy. I love you. So happy birthday. Happy birthday. To how old are you now? How old are you now? Hello, oh, I know how old you are now. I think you want to write it down. I'm so glad you're still here. I can say, I can say. Wishes. Correct. Give it the cash app. Please post most mo post your cash okay. app down there. All right. Put your cash app up there. I just want to let y'all know that even though Mo does get paid, we still we like the stuff that jiggles, but we we prefer everything that folds. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't give a fuck how much money I have in my account. I don't mind getting a dollar or two for my birthday. <laughs> Show me appreciation that you know. Mo, you know what? Because it's your birthday, I'm gonna uh, give you some goose. Oh, okay. Oh, snap. I'll give you a little goose. You All know, right. wait, right. damn the long neck bottle. Hold on, you had that bitch open. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's the sound. Oh, I just want to tell the truth now. Oh, Lord. I'm gonna pour your drink first today, Mo, because it's your birthday. I appreciate you. Yes, y'all let it drop. Let it drop. I appreciate you. Let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Everything's going to work out right now. Let it flow. <laughs> let it flow, let it flow. Yes. The Bible says, honey, if you give to others, other things will be given unto you. Hey, shut up, boo. Hey, what you say, Mo? Hey, shut up, boo. Hey! <laughs> Hey, yes, Mo. I didn't know you had the gift of tongue. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Y'all, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mo, Mo, Mo's just sitting over there on the gift of tongue and ain't even tell <laughs> nobody. <laughs> Comes out on certain occasions. <laughs> hey, when I think of the Lord and all that he has done for me, mm. I begin to praise, shout, and worship him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mo, that go your soda right there. That oh, go your drink. Appreciate you for the soda. It's the soda right there. Really? Why, yeah. why, why are you putting it all the way over there? Yeah, you should come get it. <laughs> Just messy. I am. <laughs> and even more messy because it's your birthday. I want to say happy birthday. Oh. Ooh, you like that goo? Oh, yeah. 
Well, why are you having goose? I'll have kettle one. Oh, okay. Okay. You're switching it up today. for me. For me. <laughs> I'm going to have just a swallow this kettle one. Ooh. Now, how the paper fell in there? Damn. Now I got to pull the whole thing in there. <laughs> Really? Yeah. <laughs> Paper that's contaminated. <laughs> oh dear. Listen, Lord. I don't hear y'all making no cash out dropping most cash out. Y'all need to hear more cash out going off all day. Now y'all don't act like that. Now Mo be over here making you laugh. He be interjecting, interceding, you know, intermingling and stuff. Y'all don't <laughs> get, you know, let me go ahead on. Let me get all more. the interest. All the interest, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's all the answers. The Bible says, knock, and, and the door shall be open unto thee. Ask, and you <laughs> shall receive. Hey, y'all, bye-bye, Oh, Lord. Hey. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you one more time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hold on. That's it. Y'all here dropping? Let me show y'all how. Let me show y'all how to do it. Mo, what's your cash out? I know. I know. I think I know it. Hold on. It's Mo J. Yeah. MOJ, hold on. Let me see. Y'all need to make it make it go to cash out because this is more birthdays. <laughs> Let me make Thank y'all for the birthday wishes. I really That's right. Mo can put some gas in his car because he drives all the way out here to Conscious, Georgia. Yep, from Marietta. From Marietta. But, but make sure this stuff had he'll be here tomorrow too. Yep. But it ain't gonna be his birthday tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> y'all need right. to say, I need y'all to say some of that for me. <laughs> Since my birthday Saturday. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we go, Mo. I'm gonna give you forty dollars because you know, you know, with, with with a bitch, when anybody gives anybody forty dollars, you already know. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you forty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you forty dollars right now because I already paid you this week. <laughs> this is just your bonus. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. Yeah, I hope you do. <laughs> I really do. I really do. <laughs> Oh, appreciate you. Thank you. Now I'm 35 now. In the words of my bay in Detroit, I'm 35. Now. In the words of my Detroit bay, I'll give you a 40 ball. <laughs> 40 ball. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. My my cash app does it does say Gabe on it. Gabe, G A B, Gab. Yeah, Gab. Short for Gabriel. That's my Christian name. Now, Mo, why you do this to me? What do you mean? Why you didn't tell me this stuff earlier? <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you mean? I didn't tell you this stuff. Now, you know all this time, I've been trying to figure out what this G-A-B means. <laughs> yeah, it's short for Gabriel. And you mean to tell me all this time I've been seeing, Timothy been seeing cross from Gabriel? <laughs> I feel deceived, Dad. Why? You got a Christian name? Yeah, I got a Muslim name, too. What's your, what's your Muslim name? Abdul Gafar. Abdul. Abdul Gafar. Kareem. <laughs> but a different Abdul though. Mine's Gafar. Not Jabbar. Not Jabbar. It's Gafar. <laughs> what, man? Go ahead and let it out. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> the kettle one ain't in me all the way yet. <laughs> but uh <laughs> I just felt it go down in me. <laughs> so it's definitely about to start. Come over here and mic me up, Moses. <laughs> Before you do that, go in the room over there and get uh -huh. that uh cord. I need to charge my phone. Oh. I had plugged it up in there in that room because I was getting my hand makeup and stuff done yesterday. Uh right, listen, I want to let y'all know last night I went no over there. Look, you'll see it. No more. It ain't that way. It's behind. It. Oh, okay. see, you too dark to be in the dark. And they cut the light on. I told you, that's how you couldn't find the goddamn kettle one. I told you to cut on the damn light. Cut the light on. I found it. I, found I know because the light is just, just there's a light. Plug it up right there. Charge it, my motherfucking phone. <laughs> so, how are you, Nigeria? You got five names. Because, okay, <laughs> my, my dad's side, a Christian, my mom's side is Muslim. And not only that, um, so they gave me a Christian and a Muslim name. But not only that, when you're born, people give you names, not just your parents. So like my grandma, is this the African tradition? Yeah. If you, I'm not the only Nigerian that you'll meet that has more than three or four names. 
So how much, how many of those names have different social security numbers to them? <laughs> They don't have different social. That, that's what I'm trying to figure out. How they many of those names? They don't have social security numbers because they attached this, to this, them. This, this, this why you. This why y'all Nigerians. This why y'all Nigerians get. This why y'all Nigerians get bad raps. How many of those names? They all the same social security number, man. They all the same social security number. They are not different. The same person. I'm the same person. Nothing has changed. <laughs> For real, Maddie, don't don't do us like that. Don't do us like that, Maddie. Mo also got a new podcast coming out. It's called Lotus Lotus on the Run. <laughs> that is not the name of it. It's called L- Lagos. <laughs> Lagos and Hiding. <laughs> really? For real? That's what we doing? Now that I just found out that you got six names. <laughs> you got six names, nigga. Well, I, I know seven. I know seven. Seven names? Seven of them. Yeah, I know seven of mine. At least, yeah, I think about seven, yeah. I don't care on the run. <laughs> this is long as I'm next to you. <laughs> and boy, if it's a crime. Girl. How many of my Nigerian people out there can attest to this? All my Nigerian people out there, they got nine names. Please let me know. (laughs) How many of those? (laughs) You see, look, look, Kendrick says, look, he's Ebo. He got five middle names. So Kendrick, honestly, I want you to tell me out of all those five middle names, if if you get arrested, <laughs> really, man, <laughs> if you get arrested, which one of the names did you give it to the police, to the American police? The one, it, the one on your driver's license. <laughs> Let's just say you don't have the driver's license with you. <laughs> because you know some shit fucked up. Which one of the motherfuckers is you give it to the damn to the to the police? Gabriel? I'm gonna give I'm gonna give him the one that everybody knows me by. Or the one that's on my legal documents. I'm not I don't even like now, everybody knows my name is Gabriel, but before nobody knew my name was. I didn't my know. Yeah. I didn't know it was Gabriel. Yeah, it's in my family. That's it. Mm, okay, so now I know what the name the. the, the name. I know what name the dirt the dirt the dog Twitter. <laughs> Why you keep letting telling people I'm coming out with a dog Twitter? Because you are. It's twenty twenty three coming. <laughs> I, now I know what the name the dog Twitter. <laughs> Gabriel's horn. <laughs> You gonna have one dog Twitter for Fufu for Black Fufu. Black Fufu is gonna be one of the dogs, and the other one's gonna be Gabriel's horn, <laughs> Gabriel's trumpet. <laughs> really, seriously though, really, out of all, even if I was, even that was gonna happen, out of all the names, that's the name. That Gabriel's name. trumpet, Gabriel's horn. Oh dear Lord. Uh, they said the dog Twitter been coming. How you know I ain't just collecting items, sonny? Huh? <laughs> you think I'm gonna launch with one picture, one video? Is you crazy? When I launched BigDickBig.com, it was 30 videos in that bitch on, on, <laughs> on day one. Cause I needed you hoes to watch a video a day. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> they say they ready to subscribe, Mo. You over here missing out on coin. You won't this year. I guarantee we all going down there to the bank. I was with I was with Judy and the brat last night. I saw. Yeah. That was amazing. Oh, listen, I w- I wanted you to come too, Mo. I was like, fuck, I should have invited Mo too. But I invited Craig. Craig Craig came out. My daughter Tammy, Tammy Too Fine came. Um, and uh, Legra came, you know, my, my bitch Legra came and uh, shit like that. I really wish you could have came because that could have been one of my birthday presents to you. But see, the thing about it is. That's right. <laughs> Judy told me, she said, she said, because I'm supposed to be partnering with Judy with some hair care stuff. So when I partner up with Judy, mm-hmm. 
to do this hair care stuff, I need for the mob to come and show support because I am going to partner with her this year. This year is going to be the year of, of definite flourishing for the mob. What is that, Mo? It's my... I, I, you know, for the game sports yeah it keeps me notified I don't, I'll show you this I well you put that on silent and let them people hear they giving you this money they, you need to be thankful grateful hey, gra no I want you them to hear that you grateful grateful <laughs> grateful <laughs> So well, let me mute my, uh... I'm going to be partnering with Judy uh, with a line of, of hair care stuff for um, for the girls. You know what I'm saying? And I want, you know, I, maybe I shouldn't have said something because like when you do that, when you let people know, sometimes, you know, you let people know stuff and then they don't want to support you because you involved. But I'm going to be letting out a, a, a line of, of stuff, um, you know, for uh uh, for the girls, you get what I'm saying? And the girls don't just mean the the, the the trans, it means the girls, honey, the girls, the girls that like to get up into their glamazon. So, you know, we're going to have a boss, I'm going to sit with her. And she said, Madison, you let me make $25 million last year, you ain't get a, a dime of that. And I say, it won't be this year. <laughs> Not in 2023. I, ain't gonna, you say I say it won't be this year. She said, we doubling in that next year. And I say, fuck it. Well, if you double it, I just need 10% of that. So ten percent of to fifty million what is five million? Am I right? I believe, yes, I believe so. So goddamn it! I listen. I ain't fucking off with that shit no more. <laughs> I ain't missing no more business opportunities. Uh, you say what? Mo, what's your Arisha? I'm Ogun. I think I'm. Um, I think somebody said that I was a, a, not Oshun. What's the other one with the water? That's um. What's the what's the what's the what's the Orisha with the water? I'm not sure. Cause Oshun is a Beyonce say she Oshun. Uh, yeah, 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 my, yeah, that's what they say I am. Yeah, you know, Yemo, you know, Yemoja you know, with the water. So Yemaya, because I'm my I got a lot of water in my chart. Like lots and lots of water is in my chart. In my natal chart, it's lots of water. Oh, really? Mm, lots of water. It's scorpion in my natal chart. Cancer in my natal natal. Chart. It's a lot of it's a it's a, it's a lot of scorpion, and a lot of um uh cancer. Yeah. So you know that would be the, uh, the that would be my uh that would be my uh, patron Orisha. You know, I may need to light me a old nasty, uh, uh, let, light me a one of these this week because it's my birthday coming up and I need all the coin. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Here, it, you say scorpion is a fire sign? No, scorpion is water. Scorpion is water. That's going to be a moon sign, too. My moon sign is Pisces. And my rising is Taurus. Um, Ron uh, asked, "How do you find how do you find that out?" By looking at the time you were born, your 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 birth time, mm -hmm. your birthplace, and whatever. Also, I had somebody do a natal chart thing on me. And what she said was that was so funny to her is that one of my houses is ruled by Sagittarius, the house of sex. My house, my sex house is ruled. And she said that, you know, um, the gag is I'm supposed to be, I was supposed to be an adult film. She said that not, she said what was so funny to her after she read my chart was that I was supposed to be an adult film, adult actress. Yes, that that was I was supposed to do that. That was something that I was supposed to do. Like after she read in my chart, I was like, "Girl, I didn't, you know, I didn't really get a chance to answer no question. I'm gonna go back and answer some questions about it." But and she said it was so funny that when she read that, that I was that that because it, it it's really sexual. Mm -hmm. And you know, people say that I read sexually a lot. Say I have a lot of sex energy. But I can't help that. <laughs> I can't help it. Let me go, because she sent it to me, and it was so funny, because I was like, girl, 
I was like, girl, she read it for me. And I was, I was just like, girl, so I got a lot of sexual energy in my chart. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I was just like, you know, hold on. I can't do it. You can't? No, I just tried it a couple of times. Hey, you? Uh, where? Oh, because no, it just happened. I was like, was that you that did it? Mm -mm. Hold on. Let me see. I got it from the closet ratchet. And, um, it was so funny the way that it, the way she sent it to me mm -hmm. and she said that it was very much so, she said, she laughed because she said it was your, your house was ruled, whatever house this was, it was ruled by Sagittarius and it was, um, you know, girl, I was like, girl, really? <laughs> so I was supposed to do adult film? Like it, it's crazy when you look at this stuff and you very much so like, damn, this shit was supposed to happen. Like, you know, you be fucked up on shit. Like, you don't be wanting shit to be the way it is. But you're like, damn, this shit was supposed to happen like this? Bro. <laughs> like, why? Freaky Child of Dog was said, is the spirit called Suck You Bus? <laughs> oh, it's most definitely called Suck You Bus, the eye <laughs> silent. <laughs> and sometimes the you is silent. <laughs> A lot of times the you is silent, but then it changes from I suck you bus uh -huh. to you suck I bus. <laughs> so it could be a sucker bus, <laughs> a suck you bus, or a suck I bus. They the same spirit though. <laughs> oh dear lord! Hold on, let me go in here because this shit was crazy when I heard it. And I just was blown away, like, bro, like, damn, was I really supposed to be in, um, was I really supposed to be a sex kitten, a sex siren? Is this is the reason why I rule sexually? Like, you know, <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. I look just like a woman. <laughs> you thought I was going to say that? In the picture. I thought you were about to actually sing the song. No. <laughs> No. The suspense is drowning and clowning up my head. I'm checking your clothes and you wear a 13 shoe. <laughs> you touching my spot and getting me hot, but I don't know just who you are. There's a stranger in my mouth. Oh, Lord. <laughs> All right, so you didn't really send me any specific questions that you had, but I did notice something interesting about this is about your um, relationships house. So if you look over um, at your Scorpio house, it's the house where that DC is all the way to the right. So the seventh house in astrology rules over our relationships it can be romantic or interpersonal you know platonic relationships but it also um, can represent enemies and it can represent um you know binding agreements contracts marriages but um you also have mercury and uranus here I really like Mercury in Scorpio. It's a very intellectual, like it's a placement that I know a lot of intellectual people have. Um, and I say that because, um, okay, I'm about to explain something. <laughs> so let me start by explaining what Mercury is. In astrology, Mercury is the messenger, it's the messenger planet. So it rules over communication, whether that's speaking or writing, um, you know, uh, um, like reasoning, debates. And that's why people say 
don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> um, and in astrology, Mercury rules over Virgo and Gemini. And now with Gemini, um, Gemini is regarded as the student. So what do students do? They learn. And I really like Mercury, um, you know, the ruler of Gemini. I really like Mercury in Scorpio because Mercury in Scorpio is going to get down to the nitty gritty of any topic. Like they're just going to dissect it until they can't dissect it anymore. Um, and they do this with people too, um, but they're incredible researchers and just like to uh, research the, you know, weirdest things, <laughs> um, things that people don't think to research or would even think that they wanted to know. But once they, you know, just fall down the rabbit hole, it's like, oh my God, I can't stop. I'm very, you know, stimulated by this. Now you hear her saying this stuff, and this is from my chart. Now, yesterday, when we was on the... What was it yesterday, Mo? Oh, uh, Saturday? Saturday. No, Friday. Friday when we were here, oh, yeah, Friday. I told y'all how I researched and how I was so investigative on the Tudor dynasty. I told y'all this and how right. I was trying to dissect the Bible, like the, the, the King James version of the biblical origin. So I was like, bro, when I was listening to this, I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. This is, girl, hold on. You know? got everything yeah so listen and so i really like people who have mercury and scorpio they usually have something very interesting or cool to talk about which you know i'm not saying this because i've seen your podcast or any of your shows but like it just shows that you're in alignment <laughs> Because you've been talking about some interesting stuff, I'll say. And it's very engaging. So that's, you know, the, the comment that I have there. But um, as far as, like, relationships as well, since Scorpio rules over your seventh house, um, I bet you probably, <laughs> you probably do attract a lot of Scorpios. You probably attract... I have been attracting Scorpios all my life. All of them. Yeah, and y'all know the most infamous Scorpio that I attracted. Kaya. Then one of the last situations that I was in, Scorpio. Then a fling or two, I had Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. So I was like, bro, hold on. I'm just listening to this shit. Hold on now. I'd probably cancer. I would say cancers. The Bay is cancer. The bay is cancer. As, um, Scorpio is ruled by Pluto, but it's also ruled by Mars. And you have Mars in your cancer house. So that's why I say that. And mm, probably Taurus is as well. So... Those would be good astrological matches. You know, you don't always have to go by a sun sign um, to determine things like that. It's really when you get into these houses and look at how these planets are aspecting each other. Um, and then I also, Here I also wanted to tap into your Sagittarius house, which is the house above Scorpio, this arrow. So it looks like Sagittarius uh, has rulership over your eighth house. The eighth house is death, taxes, other people's resources, but it also rules over the occult and it rules over sex. And it's interesting that you have Sagittarius in this house because it just screams porn stuff. <laughs> Or if, if formerly known as, you know, um, because Sagittarius is, they're already super free spirited. So combining that with the themes of the eighth house is really like no frills. Like, but, you know, you have done and seen it all. <laughs> we, you know, some of us know this. And so I just thought it was 
really funny. Well, not funny, but, you know, interesting that you have this uh, rulership over this house like this. I love it. <laughs> it's really just really kind of freaky, but... Um, so was I supposed to be a porn star? Right. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So I was just like, bro, but this is this just goes to show you that you that, that all of that stuff, like that everything that is going on in your life and how you this was a, if you bitches don't really sat down and really, really, really really get into your birth charts and your birth things and find out you will really it will really bring you a, a brighter idea on wait a minute what boosie did where go up there what he did on drink champ he was using my quote what he said i told y'all y'all know everybody watches me See it. Mo, your eyes, you need some, you need Legra's glasses. <laughs> I'm not wearing mine right now. Okay, hold on, let me get my bifocals then. If you see it, I'm sorry. And these things be coming in bad. I got it. That's why I have to screen be open. Oh, okay. girl, did you see Boosie messy ass on Drain Channel? I'm trying to think he watched you because he was using your quotes. I'm like, girl, Boosie Boochella. <laughs> Boosella. <laughs> what did he say? What did he say, girl? I ain't watch it. Yeah, what did Boosie say? Uh... Man, fuck that nigga. We back on this shit oh, right here. Here we go. He said, Boosie said, he don't want the smoke. He loves all gay people and would rather be around gays than gangsters. Oh, he said he don't want the smoke. Boosie, I'm always open when you're ready to sit down and talk. <laughs> I've been trying to talk to you for the past little while. I've been trying to talk to you, Boosie. <laughs> I've been trying to talk to you, Boosie. I've been trying to talk to you, Boosie. You more than welcome. <laughs> you know we'll break the internet up. That'll be one of the most. Yeah. That'll be one of the most. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all some two things uh, would would destroy this internet. What? The number one thing that would destroy this internet is if me and the original Queen's Court sat down. And just had a conversation, which I, I want y'all to let you know. I don't miss a bitch. I don't give a fuck about a bitch. I ain't think about a bitch. I'm just, I'm just th stating facts. Facts is two things that will break the internet down to the ground will be me mm -hmm. and Goldfangs occupying any room communicating with each other. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to do it. It'll, I'll charge a bitch a million dollars for me to sit in the motherfucker. I told Zeus them people's that. I want a million motherfucking dollars. A million dollars, bitch. A million. You can't come up with a million. Y'all keep on reuniting everybody else for the conversation. But for me, one million American dollars. <laughs> Deposited the same day. One million. Two. Uh -huh. If me and that, if I get an opportunity to sit in that room talking to uh Baton Rouge's folks, <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you, bitch, it's gonna shake it up. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna come in. With questions. The internet will never be the same again. I guarantee you that. <laughs> oh, and I'm moving on for that. 
So I want to get back to talking about like if you if I, I listened to that shit right there and I was just like, bro, like I, it's more stuff that she was breaking that I was listening to, but I'm just only gave you that because I wanted y'all to know that in my chart, in my birth chart, from my birth chart is found by the time and date that you're born, time, date, and location. So what you gotta understand that. Uh, you said, no, I wouldn't talk to Sasha's fingers. Sasha's fingers ain't on my level to even talk. Sasha's... <laughs> See, y'all started this. I wouldn't even think about Sasha's finger. <laughs> I wouldn't even think about Sasha's finger. I wouldn't even think about homeboy. I wasn't even thinking about that nigga. Mo, you better not never delete that shit no more. I'm tired of you deleting. Well, put it back. Okay, it's on though. Where's that? Right here. Right here. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Porgy and Bess, I was not thinking about Porgy. I ain't got to sit down and say a motherfucking thing to Porgy because it'll be more beneficial to Porgy than me. Porgy ain't on my level. But sometimes I reach down in the gutter to let the gutter know where they at on the ground. So <laughs> me and that pack of Roger Wood sausage fingered ass, having ass motherfucking goddamn fat, fat back neck bitch. I ain't got nothing to sit down and say to each other. May that bitch swallow glass and rest in peace. Dear Lord. Oh Lord. Fuck that nigga and them Oscar Mayer Smokies. <laughs> What Natalie, what what motherfucking Naomi Campbell told that bitch, you are not on my level, you never have been, and you never will be. <laughs> bitch, fuck that nigga, Moose Knuckles. Damn, dear Lord. I wasn't expecting that. You don't expect it <laughs> when it comes down to that motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't got nothing nice to say about that bitch, and I ain't never gonna have nothing nice to say about that motherfucking goddamn cock eating asshole. Now, let's get back to us talking about the birth charts, <laughs> okay. numer numerology, and all the things okay. Okay. that create like the way that our destiny actually flows. And so, with her telling me that, I was just like, I didn't, you know, I don't understand all that house shit, and this is in the house, and that in the house. All I know is MIA, take it to the house. That's all I know. <laughs> so, I don't know nothing about that stuff. So, I just listen when I hear people tell me the, these types of things and I just be like, oh, okay, cool. You feel me? Like, you know, but this when she broke this down for me, I was like, oh, okay. Uh, you said, what's my life path number? I think it's two. It could either be two or four. I don't know. My birthday's 10, 22, 77. So, if y'all know how to do them numbers, y'all do that shit. 10, 22, 77. So I don't know. I think it's either two or four. I don't know. One of them. I, but I remember me. Li I think I was a two pattern or a four. One of them. I don't. I, 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 it's been, you know. Yeah, people say you slid down, man. Huh? People say you slid down. Yeah. Oh, mine is four. They said it's four. Okay. Well, shit. I don't know. Don't start me with this shit. I don't know. We need to find out what Mo's is because this is Mo day. It ain't mine. Y'all doing this shit like my day. My day around the corner. Mine is uh, 10, 16, Mo, what time you was born? It ain't somebody tell you what time you was born. Oh, no, I never, to be honest, I never asked what time I was born. I just know I was born at, uh, at night. But not last night, though. Not last night. But, but at, night. at night. Hey, okay. You ain't new to this. You true to this. Hey, thank you. I got a new love. Okay. Um, all right. So, you know, that just really just like, like threw me in a in, threw me in a space. And um, I was just like, all right, cool. Here we go. There we go. Cool. And it was other things that I found out that she was talking to me about, like in places with my money and all that. I was like, oh, shit. And I'm like, oh, shit. Like, you know, like, bro. <laughs> Thank you, Mo. Thank you for being quick and fast. <laughs> no problem. Um, yeah. And so, 
Y'all don't even feed into that stuff. That's a troll. Right. That's a motherfucking troll. Um. So yeah, we got to find out your birth. Uh, Mine is October uh, 16, 1987. That's- ten, we 10 years exactly apart. Yep. 10 years apart. Yeah. Who did get hard? I'm out of yours, Mo. <laughs> You don't know? No, I do. <laughs> you 35 years old, I'm 45 years old. <laughs> My motherfucker stand up like a 25 year old. <laughs> Experience is a good teacher. <laughs> It takes someone like me to know. Yes, ma'am. Mm. The dog Twitter coming, both of them. Gabriel Horn and Black Foo Foo. Be on the lookout. 2023. <laughs> Why do you keep telling these people that, man? So you don't want to get this money? You're going you gonna to miss out on $25 million, man? <laughs> Judy told me last night, bitch. Judy said me last. She said, bitch, you missed out on you missed out on getting pieces of this twenty five million dollars. Oh. I, mean, I said I won't next year, <laughs> and you won't either. Every business venture going through, everybody in the tub in the club getting tipsy. <laughs> oh, somebody said my uh, life path is six. Yours is six. Uh-huh. What the fuck does that mean? I'm not sure. Does anybody, can, you, can someone tell me what that is? What does the life path of six mean? What is mine? Y'all don't want to tell Mo here. What the fuck is mine? <laughs> Y'all ask me and then you go tell Mo. What the fuck is mine? <laughs> oh. Baby, when I tell my Instagram going out, that video I put up on my Instagram, I look, I, Mo, I looked it real good last night. I ain't even sit up here and hold y'all on that shit. <laughs> I looked so good last night, bitch. I was like, ooh, shit. Baby, I, listen, you got to be in love with yourself. Encourage yourself. Okay, so somebody, okay, so Will Kim just said, being a path life six implies that you have an affinity to your home and family life, and you live in service of others. Oh, that sounds about right. Well, what is mine? That sounds about right. What is mine? 10 22 1977. What is What's mine? Daddy's? What's daddy's? Cause I need to know if this is true or not. Oh, six six is healers too. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that. And creative. Okay. Oh, in the words of Carisha, I like that. <laughs> I'm going to put a whole video up, y'all, of last night. I'm going to put, like, because I'm going to run all the snippets okay. together, so it's going to be no YouTube. Said, Hold on. Y'all come in real quick. Okay, so Nikki just says, yours is 11 slash 2, Maddie. How is that? How am I 11 and 2? You talking about the dick and the time frame? <laughs> I don't know. But she's not the first one to say it, so Cause I'm everybody so... saying yours is 11 and 2. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> What it means, sir? Oh, because e- because eleven equals two. Oh, I mean one plus one equals two, so eleven is two. Okay. okay. Well, I'm ten, twenty-two, seventy-seven. Well, y'all get one and one. I don't know. You are a master number eleven. Okay, break it down for me in the in the comments so I know. Okay, okay it says someone just put it up, put this up, Maddie. Dion uh, McKenzie says Maddie is life path two. It means you're motivated by community, harmony, and relationships. Uh, life path twos are peacemakers who aim to achieve balance, especially. Specifically, when it comes to their relationship. But the the people be saying, "Be his peace," but I be his problem sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you be the problem, man. 
because I don't let him slip shit under my pillow and tell me <laughs> that I'm just sleep. Bitch, I'm woke. I see what the fuck you doing, nigga. <laughs> Oh Lord, she, she said, "Sometimes I don't need peace sometimes." Oh dear Lord. Oh, okay. Said, "Think, think oh. big world picture." Let me put this. I'm gonna load this into the. Uh huh. You got to convert it to. Okay. Like the fact that you're a visible black trans woman and you're bridging the gap for the world. Oh, yes. Bay, if you're watching, mm -hmm. if you need me, call me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how far, no matter where you are, just call my name and I'll be right there <laughs> in a hurry. No rain, no rain. No winter's cold can stop me, babe. Ooh, babe. baby. Baby. Oh, yes, mom. <laughs> baby, you are not go. Oh, ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no pussy deep enough to keep me from you. <laughs> You have to remix it. It won't be right if I don't put no remix on it. <laughs> remix! <laughs> that problem that I had, I just couldn't see it through. I gave it over to Jesus, and I stopped worrying about it. I said I gave it over to Jesus. Gave it over to Jesus. Gave it over to Jesus. And I stopped worrying about it. <laughs> Gave it over to the Lord and he worked it out. Uh, Hallelujah. Yeah. You got him. Oh, you, you converted the video. Did you convert it? Oh, no, not yet. I, I was trying to make sure that it can go through because, you know, it was saying it was saying it was uh, too big. So it was saying that. Um, so it was saying that it was too big, Mo? Yeah. Okay. You talking about the, the foul of the, the ego? Foul, the foul was All too right. big. <laughs> you got a big ego. Oh, yeah. So whatever I give to the world, uh -huh. I was supposed to give that to the world because it's a part of my chart. It's a part of my, my you know, genetic makeup. Right. And so I really be thinking that like a lot of shit that go on in our lives, like this shit was destined to be. Destined. Like when that lady said that I attract a lot of Scorpio, I do. But then she said Scorpio and Cancer, I do. Chi Chi is a Cancer. Chi Chi ain't left me. <laughs> That's my daughter. Right. Uh, Craig is a Taurus. I need to know what Craig signs in because that's my. That's still y'all. Y'all don't be seeing because Craig came out last night. We had a really good oh, time. Craig was there yesterday? Mo, we had a real good time last night. When I tell you, I told the building up. I really wish for those for those of you who were in the building last night did not wear that motherfucking shit out. I had a good time last night. Mm. Never seen Craig get up. You know, wow, that's all. I'm like, what's that? Um. Oh, Facebook user say I'm a cancer and I love. Give me some sugar then. <laughs> Give a real bit some sugar. Baby, this kettle one is right. But I ain't had but a little bit. This shit done already moved. Oh, bro. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the, uh, the goose. The goose, yeah. On your birthday. Yes, I Mo told me I couldn't take in the. I was going to take Mo to brunch and shit like that or whatever. I was going to take him to brunch or dinner. <laughs> He's like, nah, not this day, Mo Madison. I got to go over to my mom and them house because they cooked me some, some African food. I'm like, nigga, you eat African food every day. I don't eat African food every well, day. Well, why you took me over there to that place that had that hot ass jollof? <laughs> I, don't, I don't eat that every day. Them people you water, they was like, hey. <laughs> I say, damn, this nigga order from this bitch every day. Every motherfucking day you go to this damn place. I do not order from them every single day. I order them from, I, I'll eat, I'll eat there maybe like, maybe like twice, twice a week. Twice a week. That's the most. <sighs> 
Listen, the Bay is a cancer, and you know the Bay. The Bay flatters me every day. The Bay call me every day, flatters me every day, every day. Just you beautiful girl, girl. You. <laughs> I was like, boy, you better start that fire ride that dick into the next thing. <laughs> you know we leavers like that kind of shit. You better start that shit before. I... Really? Yes. <laughs> I like that. I like to be loved. I like to be loved on and, you know, saying told I'm beautiful all the time. I like that. Because, you know, the last situation I was in, you know, they were running after everybody. <laughs> I said, shit, they were there. What the fuck I'm doing wrong? But it wasn't me. And, you know, I like to be loved on and, you know, licked and yeah, shit, I fuck you all day good. <laughs> and, you know, I love to, I love to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love to fuck. <laughs> Let me get a little bit of rest in between because I'm for I am 40. I'm about to say, I'm about to say you don't like because I am 45. <laughs> so let me get a little bit of rest in between. <laughs> let me get a little bit of rest. That's what I'm about to say. I'm like, man, you you don't rest, you just you just let me get a little rest in between. All the time. I mean, you know, I'm with it. Shit. I'm with it now. I may even be like, hold on, let me take a little break. Let me be... Hold on, let me breathe a little bit. Let me breathe. Oh, Lord. Hold on, let me take a... <laughs> lose my... <laughs> Baby boy, you made me lose my... <laughs> hold on. Let me take a little breath. <laughs> Shit, give me about five, five to ten. Let me sit on the bench for me. Give me a towel, but don't throw, don't call game. But just give me a towel. Let me sit down. Let me dab off my forehead. Let me dab bit. it off a little bit. Cause when I get when I get back in this second round, nigga, you gonna be asking me to get somewhere to sit down. <laughs> I'ma ride it, suck it, lick it. I wanted to bust multiple times. And I always tell a motherfucker, listen, when you fuck with me, don't make me buzz. What's up, T? What's up, Flame? Listen, I always tell a nigga, Flame, you know it's, it's Mo birthday. Don't send me the 20. <laughs> send it to Mo. He got you from here on out. <laughs> I ain't just going to solicit my services like that. You my bitch, nigga. Oh, damn. Wait, the 2023 get in here. Manny, 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 chill. Come on, man. All right, I got you. 2023, ladies and gentlemen, please. <laughs> Look out for Gabriel's horn <laughs> and Black Foo Foo International. <laughs> but I tell men is that be that they, they, they get in a, in a situation. With me. I, two things I tell men: don't try to motherfucking cheat and sneak around on me because I have a real deep connection with the spirit, and the spirit gonna tell me what's going on. And I also tell them, don't motherfucking make me nut first. <laughs> Cause if I nut first, you going you gonna get your. Well, I'm saying you ain't gonna get two. <laughs> so long as I come after you done, after you done got around, got almost down to that last nut. Cause you know, so you mo, you multiple motherfuckers. Long as you not come now, you done got to that last nut. We all right. I can hang with you. Shit, I throw them legs back. Throw them, get on, lay on the side. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I don't really like getting hit from the back because I'm going to tell y'all why I don't really like getting hit from the back because if I get hit from the back, a nigga be having a lot of control. Now, I get hit from the back. Hopefully, on my birthday, I'm going to get hit from the back. <laughs> but what I really want to get is hit from the, on, on, from the front, on the side, looking at my bae in the, in the bae's face. That's what I want to do. I want to be looking at the bae like so the baby be telling me, girl, you golly, girl. Ooh, this pussy is so good. It be yanking. <laughs> Not to be cute, confused with stanking. You said yanking. 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 So why? why? Yeah. Okay. It motherfucker pussy be yanking. <laughs> Yo, okay, so kind of missionary, but like on the side. Like, you know, I'm a thick ass hoe. <laughs> so I may lay on the side and we might be looking at each other in the face like this. And I may Cause I can still do this stuff. <laughs> I can still do this motherfucking shit. I can hold my knee up right here. 
<laughs> on my side. <laughs> I, I can I can hold my knee up right there on my side now, yeah, you know. And then he be he be in, oh, it's called a wheelbarrow. Wait a minute, what's that called? Somebody said a wheelbarrow. Oh shit! I don't, think that's called the I don't know if that's the wheelbarrow. No, I don't think that's called the wheelbarrow. I could be laying on my motherfucking side, let him. You know, if we be kind of laying this way. It's kind of missionary. But you are your side. Well, I'm on my side where well, you can really dig up in that pussy. And then you almost in the fetal position? Oh, yeah! <laughs> but from the front, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Well, you know, oh, you know they, 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 the baby want to tear the pussy up from the back. I'm like, hold on now. <laughs> too much control. Too much Janet Jackson now. Really? Control! Ah! Uh-uh. Let me have a little bit. Oh, it, no, oh, you say it's called scissors. I don't know, but it's like you lay on the side, and then you know, if you it, now see your nigga gotta have a long enough dick to get it. Cause see, I got a lot of ass. <laughs> you just can't have no regular dick coming. Okay, so everybody say like the scissors, the side scissors. That's the name of it. You just can't have no regular dick trying to hit me. <laughs> You can't have no regular dick trying to hit me. You got to have a dick that's going to get in there. That's going to get in there. Get in there! So, you know, I'm going to scoot you up where you can get down this way. You know, the position is, imagine this me. Okay. Mr. Bay. So the Bay got to scoot down a bit because you know that ass is so much ass <laughs> where it's like a sandwich. Like a bologna sandwich. You feel what I'm saying? You lay on the side. That's, I like that's my favorite position to do. I mean, I like laying on my back and letting him, letting the nigga. Ah, 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 ah. I mean, so if you could do without, you would do without the uh, doggy style. Then. Cause, okay, from the doggy style, I can't really come. The, the doggy style is for him coming, unless, uh-huh. unless. And I shouldn't say this because I don't know if anybody watching. <laughs> okay. Unless I'm on the car. Because it takes me back to the time. <laughs> Wait, time out. So y'all got, for you to really enjoy it, y'all got to go to the car. From the back? Go to the car. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. All my hoes know what I'm talking about. Y'all hoes don't be out there acting like y'all don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm sad. I'm sorry. No, you ain't never had no prostitute, so hush. <laughs> so, you know, if you ever had out the door sex, you freaky bitches, don't act like y'all ain't freaky in the comments and y'all don't have no freaky ass. If your nigga ain't took you outside and fucked you on the hood of that car out in some bushes, <laughs> you ain't really living. <laughs> You ain't really in no relationship. <laughs> if your nigga ain't took you outside and fucked you on your car in the bushes somewhere <laughs> in an isolated place, bitch, you ain't in no good relationship. You fire that nigga today. That you couldn't wait till you get out. Man, fuck that. You been in the car saying all that freaking nasty ass shit, and you looking good and shit. You like, damn yeah, man, oh. shit. Your nigga drive. Bitch, don't act like that. You ain't never been sitting in the car. With your nigga, and you just want to suck that dick. I'm sorry. Why do I keep sorry? I'm sorry. Because you ain't you ain't really had no real deal if you ain't really been sitting in no car with your nigga. He been looking good over there driving your shit, especially if you're a rich bitch. <laughs> and he driving your shit, and you over there looking at that nigga drive your shit. <laughs> And you know what that dick give when it's at home. You know when you at home, you know what that dick give. And you out there in the car ride with your nigga. And you say in the backyard. Yeah, man, you got to get, Mo, you got to have a little spicy. Like, leave that apartment. <laughs> For real. Man, you got to fight. I just, I just like, when y'all feel like, I just be like, you know what? Fuck the house. Man, y'all. 
I'm done it, but it's like in the back seat. But Mo, this the thing though, but right? Not like not like the yard or on top of the hood. Mo, if you ain't never had no mosquitoes eating your ass up. <laughs> Cause you just been on, you just been walking somewhere. You know, you've been out in the yard playing. You know what I'm saying? Your nigga ain't hit you. You ain't hit a bitch. You, you boring. Oh, you Lord. feel me? Nah, I'll fuck the movie theater. <laughs> Listen, I right, fuck that. I right, fuck that. Listen, I be seeing too much shit on Twitter. Right. I say you hoes going to jail. <laughs> now I ain't telling you bitches to go out there and go to jail. <laughs> I'm telling you hoes to add a little paprika. Who is this terrible? And aren't you a man? Yeah, but I got a good, I got pussy. Yeah, I, I was born that. I do, I am, but I got good pussy though. Google it. <laughs> anyway, so, you know, like I want to get back and then I'm going to talk about it. You got to lay on your side a bit like this. And so the base scoot down like this. And see, if you a fat bitch, if you a girl of a certain size and a certain weight, you can't have no, you got to have you a, a nigga that's smaller than your skinny nigga. <laughs> but a skinnier nigga. Why does he have to be skinny? A taller, a little bit taller. So, so basically, you can't be, you can't be small, you can't be uh small and fat or or uh big, just big. Basically, you gotta have, you gotta have. So I'm talking to my bitches that got body, body, a lot of body. I got a lot of body, mo. It's a lot of body. <laughs> You know how the book say turn. You know how the church say turn to your neighbor. Say I'm glad you're here. You got to turn to your to your. Turn. So he got to lay on down. He got to screw down enough so that dick, that dick can get up in there and it can motherfucker get in the guts like this. Like see, this needs to be your guts, and you got to be down here doing it. He got to be doing this right. But I'm it's the rhythm. This is the rhythm of the night. Jeffrey said you can't be five five. You got to... the rhythm. Got to be doing this, like uh, uh, you know. And it got to, it got to keep a good rhythm, a good yeah. rhythm. It got to be a rhythm. It got to be a good rhythm where you can be like, oh, <laughs> you know. And if you got a prostate like me, <laughs> if you got a prostate like I do. And that dick happens to just make a mistake and tap that bitch, that G spot, <laughs> and it hit that spot. You're like, oh, I guarantee you, you it'll be and a volcanic eruption will happen. <laughs> you say you tapping out Chef Roxy at home. I ain't tapping that. I want him to get it. And you know, with, you know, the baby said, well, you know, I be want to slow around. I'm like, shit, when I'm laying on my side like that, and that dick, that fat, long dick be going in there hitting that shit, you like, fuck me, nigga. <laughs> Don't be playing with me. Fuck me. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I, I, I don't know about the love making stuff. The love making stuff. I'll make love uh -huh. in the space of, you know, the foreplay, kissing, touching, fondling. But when that did go with me, fuck me. <laughs> so forget the love, baby. I ain't got no time to waste. <laughs> you in my asshole. Fuck me. <laughs> Oh, 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 come on me. Oh, come in me. Oh. You ain't heard Luther the Cameron song? Oh, 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 oh. Look at me, nigga. Look at me. That's what all the love is. The love is really deep down in the deep bashing of the puss. The deep, the deep sea, deep dick, dip, dick, dick, dicking. Chase, look, look, look. Chase said, well, where is it? Where is it? He said, don't start running. We start running. Don't run. We start fucking you down. Um, I do run a bit. <laughs> I ain't gonna sit up here and lie, cause sometimes you get what you ask for, and you be like, "Hold on now, shit, hold on, hold on now." If you gonna run, why, why, why you going after something you gonna run? For? Cause it's just the process. <laughs> you ain't run, you run it cause it's you run it cause it's good. You like, ooh, it keep hitting this little part that keep hurting me. Right. So then, why you keep going? Cause it's it's just it's just something about that that ooh. <laughs> and ooh, see this how a lot of y'all hoes won't leave y'all baby daddy because there's a lot of y'all baby daddies that know those spots. <laughs> you a fucked up nigga. 
but he know them spots because he done laid on that side and he done been digging up in that. Ooh, ooh, you're like, okay, ooh. Why? When he, when he starts, when, like, when damn. Like, why are you running? Why, why, are why are you why are you running? Why are you, running? Oh, you see she can't oh, oh. <laughs> So at this point, you know, you take the dick out and you suck it a bit. Okay. You suck it. You take the oh, you take the oh, penis oh. out and you suck it. You you put your mouth on it and stuff like that, and then you put it back in. <laughs> and then if you ain't, if if your partner, if you really got a real good good, good milky yak, uh-huh. snatch it back, <laughs> wet gushy ushy mushy pussy that makes him come. You get what I'm saying? You have to reassure him, okay. like you're gonna let him fuck you again. And so you gotta be with that shit though. You gotta, you gotta be. You have to reassure him, like, okay, babe, you know, you nut because he be like, you know, the bear will probably tell you, like, man, I don't want a nut right now, ain't it? I just don't want a nut right now. Come on, bitch, <laughs> don't make me nut right now. He's like, all right, babe, listen, hold on, just let me rest up, let you rest up, and then you know, but don't come. You don't come. You let him get his his pleasure, and then you 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 know you you stay you chill. You know, because the dick gonna get back hard because the mind gonna be saying, man, that shit was good. I gotta hit that again. <laughs> you chill. One more time. Let me do it one more time. Let me do it one more time. One more time. Come on, let's get together. You know, now listen, now we talking about if, if y'all got on rubber. Now, if you ain't got on the rubber, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. <laughs> it's over. And it'll tell you why it's over. Because uh, ain't not, raw dick. And raw sex is completely different from, right. from covered you sex. Right. You, are, you are right about that. You are right. It's a completely different feeling. It's a completely different connection. It's a different feeling and a different connection. You say from ass to mouth, yes, there's no other way. Because it's your ass. This is why I don't get into that threesome shit. I don't like that threesome and all them people because it's too much ass to mouth. I don't know. I know my. I know I took hours and hours and hours to clean my ass out. Right. I know I did this. You I don't know about this other motherfucker. Right, right, right. That's true. I don't know about this other bitch, so I'm not finna lay out with no other motherfucker and be over here like you know, with with the security, with the mental security that this bitch dushed as much as I did. <laughs> Fuck that. And I ain't want I don't want to share if the dick good to me, I don't want to give it to you, bitch. <laughs> it's for my use only. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, I don't want to give it to you. And I don't want to be laying. It's right, the doo-doo, the voodoo got doo-doo on it. <laughs> <laughs> but this is why I'm not into threesomes and poly and all that kind of shit because I don't know this other motherfucker. I barely know the nigga I'm fucking. I think I know him because the spirit told me. But I got to get into it with another motherfucker over here and we we rolling around and, and he want I'm not finna let my nigga stick his dick in a bitch ass and then put it out and put it in my mouth. I don't know. i fight a nigga. Nigga, I don't know you. Bitch, I don't know this bitch. Is you crazy? I don't trust this bitch. And this a stranger? Cause a lot of you hoes be doing that poly shit and be doing that fucking hookup shit with strange motherfuckers. And you trust your nigga to go in this bitch raw and to pull it out of her ass and put it in your That's mouth? I don't do open relationships. I don't do that. I don't do open relationships either. Because let's just say I want to please you. I go down on you. I got to think about this nigga just had his whole dick inside you. Now, Moa, that's something I watch. But I'm not I'm not doing nothing that. Now, that. I watch it. <laughs> It's plenty of shit that I watch. You hoes don't act like that. Because it's plenty of motherfucking shit that I watch that I won't never get involved with. Yeah, I won't get involved with it. Like, I watch gangbangs. I watch the motherfucker. Be- I just looked on Twitter and the motherfucker was standing by a light pole in another country. A black motherfucker. They was about a light pole. And he, had his, he had his hands on the light pole like this. And it was a whole... And this was OnlyFans. So I know this was nothing professional. <laughs> This was an OnlyFans video, and he had his hand on the light pole, and it was so many people out there fucking him. I said, "God, leave!" No, everybody was just on him. Now nah, I was masturbating a little bit. So everybody was on him. Yeah, he was just there getting fucked. Damn. When nobody, it just it was just in the dark. It was in the everybody had their camera up, they phone. He just leaned over. I said, "Ooh, you bold. You was a bold motherfucker." 
That was the first thing that went in your mind. You bold. I mean, it made my, it made my dick hard, but it's like <laughs> shit. You use a bold nigga. I'm scared of this nigga. Shit, send that nigga to the war. He ain't scared of nothing. <laughs> They're the kind of people you got to sit on the front line of the war on the war. Like, we get into a war, I'm going out there, find all them OnlyFans motherfuckers who get out there fucking public in broad daylight, who fuck by the school, <laughs> who be in public places fucking in broad daylight like that. Them the kind of niggas you need to put soldier uniforms on because they don't give a fuck about shit. Okay? You got to put them niggas on the front. If we ever have a war with any other country, oh. you go recruit them OnlyFans motherfuckers that be doing all that shit right there and putting them on the front line because they will run right into some shit. <laughs> I'm trying to... his ass. <laughs> right into some shit. <laughs> because I see that nigga with his hands on that phone and all them people was fucking that nigga. I was like, man, golly. Somebody said in the bus, in the subway. Bro, you had to see that video. I was watching, he had his hand, I don't know if it was a light pole or whatever it was, I don't know if they was in another country, I don't know. <laughs> but he wrapped his hands around those that light And they were fucking him, <laughs> and it was another, it was another set of people eating ass, where, where they was watching it, they was with their person, holding all, they was locked. I'm just sitting here looking. Mind you, my dick was hard at first. <laughs> and then I just started. I fold my head. I just started. Look, it was in New York. Oh, okay. Well, shit, I thought it was another country where they were there. I just had my hands folded like this. You just watching? Yeah. So you weren't even around no more. You were just intrigued. I was judging. <laughs> As all the nasty shit out of did, I was I started judging them. <laughs> Like, now you know what? <laughs> this is making me nervous. Because I want y'all to know that there's other things besides H, the I, and the V. There are other things besides yes, HIV. Yeah. It's other stuff. We got HIV under control. You got one pill a day that can keep you from giving it or getting it. Right? If you're rich enough, you can get rid of it. Yeah, well, that's what they say. Ask Magic Johnson. Right. That's what I'm about. But there's a pill that could keep you from getting it, and if you don't already have it, it's a pill that will keep you. I mean, if if it's, if it's a pill that you got it, it'll keep you from from transmitting it and shit like that or whatever. And then, and if you don't have it, there's a pill that'll keep you from receiving it. Okay. So all right, cool. We on that. We got HIV in that space. But bitch, there's some other shit. There's other stuff that you can super gonorrhea that the damn that the, the, the damn uh, shots ain't c- curing. Syphilis, mm. HPV, herpes, yep. uh, ho- a whole bunch of other stuff that grows on you. And people real people have to realize too: the more that you the more that you get shit, the more your body will become immune to the uh, the cure. Yeah. It, this shit be growing, growing. It grows like a like a field, a field of flowers. It grows. Yep. Somebody said monkey pop. Yeah. Yeah. There is no way that I will put my hand on a light pole. Just line up. <laughs> dumping in me. Just dumping. I'm like, girl. <laughs> you, I'm telling you, we break out with a war with Russia. I'm going I'm gonna I'm volunteering them as tribute. <laughs> On that pole like that. <laughs> so it's not even. You still stuck on the fact that he put his hand on. And 
waited and waited. I, I folded my hands like this and watched both the video in its full entirety. I just you weren't even masturbating. No, I was. I stopped. <laughs> You're like, you know what? I actually need to, I need to dissect this. <laughs> That's basically what you're saying. I need to dissect this video. And yes, I was judging. <laughs> and I'm not going to judge nobody. Oh. But it's just like, dude, you don't love yourself? You don't love yourself? Because none, <laughs> none of these people love you. <laughs> I want you to know that none of these people out here love you. They don't even know you to love you. They might not even know your name. They don't. <laughs> they don't even love, love, know you to love you. So if they burning right now, they don't give a fuck. They just burning. If they peeing right now and it feel like icicles and glass coming through, you think they give a fuck if your ass gonna do the same thing in three to, three to seven days later? No. They came there to dump. Don't believe and so I just, you say, I sure hope he was getting paid. I don't know. It was OnlyFans. I don't know. Right. And I know OnlyFans take a certain percentage. I'm a dot com girl. I own all the, the masters to all my shit. And don't nobody get no percentage of my shit but me. So I can't tell you nothing about the, how OnlyFans work. That ain't, that ain't my ministry. But at, at the beginning and end of the day, it was the hand <laughs> and waiting. And everybody, Mo, it was so many people out there. And I just was like, I started adding up statistics of things. One out of every six has this. And there was more than six people there. It was way more than six. <laughs> I started adding in my brain. One out, one out of every six has this. One out of every five is this. <laughs> one, in, one in three has this. When I'm like, okay, well, it's more than three, six, nine, and 12 people there. So it's a whole conglomerate of shit going on out there. Bird, baby, bird. I was so weakened by, and I'm not. If, if, now, if you are, if you are that person that's in that video, <laughs> and you are watching, I'm not judging you. I judge the situation, <laughs> but I want to tell you that you are really, you are truly loved. Oh my God, I'm crying. That you are loved, and you are loved by someone. Somebody really do love you, <laughs> and that it don't take all of that. And on the pole for straight, you know, and I do think that that's an, a that's a that's a that's a it has to be it has to be. I can watch it, but I can't get involved. There's a lot of things I can watch, but I would never take part in. Really, I get that. I get that. Really, yeah. What have you seen? We'll talk later. <laughs> And all these people were masked people. That's by the way, they were masked. Oh, for real? They were all masked. Oh, so he don't eat that. These were these were most definitely anonymous. Oh, wow. Anonymous deposits in the account. <laughs> I was just like, whoa. Oh, Lord. That's, that's and I'm not judging. But am I judging more? Is this judging? Is it judging? Usually, I think I believe judging. because I did have I was aroused by it. I usually I believe judging is when you're like telling somebody, "No, oh, you're going to hell for this" or something like that. If you just say like, "Damn, I don't think it's judging." I, think I, it's I maybe I was more so concerned about the way the hand <laughs> was on that pole, <laughs> waiting, <laughs> waiting, <laughs> waiting. Even when you meet strangers off of the strange app, Mo, did you get that thing? I said, we still got more show to do. Yeah, we, I know, I know, we still got. You know, we still got more show to do. Oh, uh, 
Did that come through? Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. I, well not, not the first one, but let me try this one. No, but I, there was a link that I sent where this girl was talking about that she was, uh, she had a, she met a guy off of Hinge. No, you didn't send me that. Oh yeah, she met him off of Hinge, and he robbed her. Oh no, no, you didn't send me that. One moment, he robbed her. They were they after after the twelfth day they were together, and I say now I know he done fucked that pussy raw and all kind of shit in the last twelve days, and he <laughs> came he came and collected on. <laughs> he said this dick ain't free. No, he, he came and collected that. I said, <laughs> oh shit. No, you didn't send me that one. I didn't get that. I'm about to send it to you right now. It's going to be hard. She cried. Um, I was robbed by someone that I trusted, that I had met on his the dating app. We've only known each other for like 12 days. Yes, I know I'm an idiot for inviting some man that I didn't know to my house multiple times overall in the last a week and a half. I trusted him, although um, there were a lot of red flags, so many that I can't even count. No. It was super lovey-dovey and kind and nice, you know, the whole, yeah. And I was very trusting and too nice. And he stole from me. Somebody I thought that actually lacked in me. And we actually started, well, we're pretty much official um, two days ago. I'm assuming now we're not. Um, I've, I've called him. I FaceTimed him. I've tried to text him. Nothing. I've tried all day, uh, not all day, just for a few hours. I tried him on other phone and other numbers. Nothing. I've even DM'd him on Instagram. Nothing. We're going to show you a picture of him. He's in Dallas. So if you guys know who he is and ladies beware, I think he does this. Maybe on regular. I'm not sure. This is the first picture of him. He has a tattoo on his neck and tattoos on his arm. Another angle. This is his dating profile on Hinge. Ladies, if you see him, please just don't match with him. Is, is, it, is, it, is it safe to say that he looked like somebody that's going to rob you? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I didn't want to say. No, nah, I don't know if we're judging because I don't want to judge. I, I don't, yeah, because why, it's, it's like, kind of like me with, me thinking about the man who had his hand on the pole like this and, and <laughs> bent over waiting. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. But this stuff happens, though. This happens. So, so niggas out really out here fucking females and then coming back to rob them? Everybody, not just females. These niggas is fucking. Oh, oh. I just want y'all to know these niggas is fucking. And I, these they fucking. That's fucked up. Yeah, that's some trifling shit. They fucking. Damn. They ain't just regular fucking. They fucking. They fucking all the things. A lot of you women think, I, t- I tell y'all all the time, you want to catch your nigga, get on them gay apps. <laughs> <laughs> or get on all the apps that you own and then put up you a picture as a trans. You'll find, I, I guarantee you, a lot of you hoes will find out. You'll find them. You'll find them. And you'll find out what they like. Make you several profiles. You'll find your nigga. I'm sorry to be a Debbie Downer and a bear of bad news. <laughs> it's scary. Damn, that's great. Catfish that nigga. Don't be scared. To, bitch, if you want to make a forever with somebody, don't be scared to catfish them. You better start betting them. Yeah, you better start betting. Don't be scared to catfish them. Don't be scared to do that. Don't be scared. If you want to start a forever with a motherfucker, don't be scared. Do not be afraid to do that. Don't be afraid. You cannot be afraid to do that. It will save you a lot of time. You say not all correct Christian, not all, but most, a large percentage, which will make you think that it's damn near all. 
I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Take your time out. If it's a person that you want to be forever with or, or for a long time with or whatever, take your time out and catfish them. That's all I'm telling you. Uh, it'll change a lot of y'all a lot of my cis women it'll change a lot of y'all conversation that y'all have about trans women we go through the same thing ma'am I know that y'all say I know a lot of y'all is so secure and y'all ain't worried about no trans woman and you don't give a fuck cause the men that want y'all want y'all and the men that want us want y'all oh, us and all that kind of shit but bitch the men that want y'all want us and the men that want us want y'all and sometimes the men that want us together want men too and it's okay if you want to find that out <clears throat> Just keep your, I'm telling you, K. Michelle says she made her profile on Jack. Oh, you, shit. Yeah. You better make you a Jack, a grinder, a Tinder, a, 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 a Facebook dating app, a, a bitch. You got to keep you a fufu. <laughs> you better keep you a burner account. If not one, if not two, if not three, if you, as long as, as many emails as you got, you better make an account. Ladies, I'm your friend, so I'm telling you. Nigga, sorry, I'm for my bitches. You may even have to put your profile in another area that you, that you know your nigga finna go visit. Catfish him with women's, men's, all of it. If fat ass niggas talking to you, say they pictures. Say they dick pictures. Save that. Make you a profile with that nigga pictures. Dear Lord. I'm telling you. I hate to hurt y'all feelings, but shit, that mine was hurt. It was shit I found out and the motherfucker told me that ain't me. Somebody using my picture. I'm like, well, okay. Well, let me call this number that you gave. Use your picture? Yeah, well, let me call this number that you gave. Let me see if this rang your phone. Man, y'all don't even want to know the half of my experiences. Y'all don't want to know the half of my experiences. So that's why I don't have no... I, I mean, I love and I, I trust to a degree, but I still have, I don't have, I don't put no doubts in my mind of nothing because, you know, it's a possibility. There's a possibility. A lot of you hoes rule out the possibility of shit happening. No, you can't do that. You know, and it's not all men, but it's most definitely most. I hate to be, a, again, on this good Sunday, I hate to be a bearer of bad news and a Debbie Downer. No, you cannot stop anybody from cheating, but you can stop as how far you will, you will go in a situation. You can stop how far you'll allow yourself to go. You can stop how far you will let, how deep you'll let yourself get into a situation. You can stop that. That's why people need to be honest with you. If you ain't looking for something serious, stop dragging people along. Let them know. And I know you hoes don't be wanting to hear that shit coming from no transsexual, but I'm the first bitch you need to listen to. Not the second, not the third down the line. I'm the first <laughs> motherfucker that's sending a warning shot in the air. Because I see a lot of bitches in the comments about, oh, well, you know, because speaking of that, go to this little Duval statement so we can talk about this. Oh. Le Duval made a statement and his, that's it right there up, up right there and his statement was any nigga uh, oh no no that ain't it no look well it was I sent you something what Le Duval had said that ladies don't get mad if a man asks you if you a man oh I didn't send it to you 
I was in the comment section and there were so many women down in the comment section saying, well, if a man don't know the difference, if a man don't know the difference between a man and a woman, then, you know what I'm saying? He, he a gay nigga anyway, and this and the other and blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is this, right? Uh, there's a lot of us trans women that are extremely passable. You feel me? It's extremely, extremely passable. You feel me? And there are a lot of uh, this, a lot of trans women that are not. And see, people get beauty and passability confused. I'm gonna say this again so that you can understand what I'm talking about. People get beauty and passability confused. Every motherfucking thing that's pretty ain't passable. And everything that's passable ain't pretty. It's some ugly motherfuckers out there that that's, that that's is passable. That niggas fuck all things, not all, but most do. <laughs> How many times you hold them been through infidelity and it's been an ugly motherfucker that you don't caught your nigga with? You like, why would he do that, bitch? Because he's a man and he a fuck. That, fuck you mean? That actually goes into. Yeah, we'll talk about that, but I need to get this look. And I was reading in the comment section, and there was two people that referenced me in the comment section. Oh, really? Yes. I was like, I like that comment. They didn't add me. They just referenced me in the comment oh, section. Okay. And so I was reading it, and I was under, I was down there in the comment section, reading it, reading it, reading it, reading it, and there was so many women. I was like, bro, you have, you, a lot of you broads have this preconceived notion that you are, I'm a real woman and that's it, that's all. And it's okay for you to have that type of confidence and that type of feeling, but that's yours, okay? You don't, you can't, I'm gonna say it again and I need this because somebody took a piece of this and they put it on TikTok. I don't miss this whole I don't fuck with this hoe. I don't think about this hoe. I could give a fuck less about this bitch. But if that motherfucking sweet pickle bus driving ass bitch ain't never said nothing in this world, that bitch said, if you put your trust in a nigga, stupid hoe, how you figure? And it's so many of you that are out there who have got this thing in your mind that I'm a real woman. I was born with a motherfucking pussy and, and men live for me. And if they like anything outside of that space, then, you know, they don't like me. That is not true. It is not true. There is such thing as bisexuality. There is such thing as fluidity. There is such thing as motherfucking goddamn just, attra just, just attracted to people. Sometimes it's just such thing as just going to bust a nut. Correct. <laughs> so, yeah. So. And so, at the end of the day, and the beginning of the day, when you people and, and those women in the comments said they were so and they were so anti-trans, they was like, I just really wish that y'all would go on an island with y'all men. I'm like, well, girl, the population will go too. <laughs> That don't mean all men like the girls. If a man is attracted to a woman, why would he not be attracted? Why would he have a why wouldn't he look at a trans woman? What would make you think that we are excluded from that conversation? What do you think that we are excluded from from the conversation? For him finding one of us. You hear a fat ass motherfucking goddamn Macy Gray look alike, like like a uh, uh, Corey Holcomb. You know, a, 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 a fat ass nigga with fucking B cup titties and a fucking a church slacks on going to a comic view meeting, bitch, with a <laughs> shape like a woman under those outfits, bitch. You hear him call me a man in a motherfucking dress and you feel secure in that. You feel secure in that because you feel like that all men feel, oh, that's a dude in a dress, that's a man, a man in a wig, and it's an, you hear this type of stuff, and y'all roll with that shit, and you roll with that shit, and you be rolling and, 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 and thinking that that shit is, hey, and you be thinking that that shit is the motherfucking, is the law for niggas. Don't let no niggas' words fool you. Don't let them words fool you. I done been in a whole relationship with a motherfucking nigga that was acting like he was gonna bust me in my face in public. 
you got to stop. You have to use, you have to think outside of what you think or what you deem that you know. And it is not about me as a trans woman thinking that I'm better than you or I'm equal to you and all this type of stuff. It is me saying like, girl, this is a man. This is a man, girl. That identifies as a straight man who did get hard. Chance just said, niggas be lying to everybody, especially to they self. Lady, you got to understand that men lie to they self first. Do you think he give a fuck about what truth he tell you? And I'm not even man bashing. I'm just saying I was reading those comments in the comment section and I was like, bro, you ladies are really blindfolded. You are blindfolded. How could you let this infiltrate your mind like this? To be so blind to say, oh, well, girl, if he don't know the difference, there are very passable trans women in this world, very passable, that you be at the beach with, that you be in the bathroom with, that you be, that you be motherfucking, that's your coworkers and all this type of stuff, very passable. So do not sit up here and say that, oh, everybody knows or everybody can do this and the other. And there are those, and, and there are those same passable trans women who are telling the men, I have a dick. Not deceiving them, saying, sir, I have a dick. Or I had a dick. They're not, it's not an art, the art of deception. I'm not sitting up here saying that there are not trans women who, who still play the pussy card, but that shit's so old. We live in a time, and somebody in the comment section that said, we're living in a time of T.S. Madison, Sydney Starr, Janet Mock, Laverne Carr. I read the, I like the comment. We're living in a time where trans women are standing up telling other trans women, bitch, you don't have to hide what you is, girl. These men love it. And if they don't, somebody else will. You don't have to fool no nigga. You don't have to do that. I'm going to say this statement all the time. We not the ones fooling the niggas. The niggas is fooling you. We transsexuals, transgender women who live confidently in our truth are not the ones fooling these niggas. Those niggas are fooling y'all. And you be immediately falling in line with that dumbass, stupid shit of I didn't know. You are crazy. Nobody's want to be found stinking on the side of the road, bitch. Nobody want to find that. Nobody wants to be found stinking on the side of the road. So 99.9% of the, is a, I believe the percentage is smaller now because the times have changed. 99.9% of the time when a motherfucking man is caught, you don't have to tell him that's what he was seeking. Yeah, I know this and, coming out saying that. That's what they were seeking. And this is the thing. In your, in, in your mind, it sounds better to you. It makes you feel more secure in a situation. You feel more secure within yourself and secure in a situation because you hear him say, I didn't know. And so you're like, okay. Instead of saying, well, maybe he might like this. Especially when you got niggas who done been caught seven different times. My thing is that how many Wait now, it's possible, Mo. Really? If you if you a real if you I don't want to do that. I'm, I'm just, just, it defeats my cause right now. <laughs> but it is possible. Okay. It's, it's called a mixture of alcohol, a mixture of of fast talk, and all that stuff. You know, those were those times for me. So it is possible to happen. But I think the time that we're living in now, and I'm not going to say that there are girls who are not doing that, who are not saying the truth, because there are still some, but it is very few. 
But 99%, get on these apps, catfish these niggas, do this shit, and you will find out what they truly seek. Be ye not dismayed. And I was so, I was reading those comments and I was like, bro, you, you, I, I just really wish I could hug some of you, some of you women right now. Cause it's not all men. I'm not saying that it's all men, but it's most definitely a high percentage. It is a high percentage and then a lot of times the girls be mad at us for nothing. This man is lying. He's lying. He's lying to himself. I respect the man that holds a bitch hand in public. Rap a bitch, rap a motherfucking arms around they, they, they trans person in public. Kiss it. I respect that because I don't, hey, oh shit, I don't give a fuck. This is my bitch. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. I ain't fooling nobody. This is who I love. This is who I fuck with. Wait a minute. What you said, Keith? You said the last trans person that what? Let me see. Hold on, hold on. Okay, here we go. Here we go. The last local... Close that moment. The last local transgender that was killed in my area was robbed and killed and everyone was saying she didn't tell him she was trans. Well, let us see a photograph. Let us see what photograph they digged up of her. And let's post that photograph and watch how every single person from the men to the women will tell you that they know. And that, as I said when I was on Pierre's show, that's the most confusing shit to me. That's the most confusing thing to me. How do you walk around and preach that everybody can tell what these people, what you people are? You love to say this. Oh, I could tell by the hands, the feet, the arms, the neck. Look at the head. Look at the fingernails. Look at the toe. Look at the lips. Look at the eyeballs. Look at this. How can you walk around and say this? And then when something like this happens, the first go-to is she ain't telling. To, to be honest, though, Betty, that that whole thing about the hands, voice, and stuff—that's become an absolute. Because there's some females that got some big ass feet. There's some females that got some big hands, and there's some females that have deep voices. And a thick ass neck and a big ass motherfucking head. <laughs> so it so you can't so you, people say that oh I can tell no you, you can't just keep saying that. Uh, they go to the shoulders and we go back to shoulders. You know, so I'm just saying, bro, like. How do you do this? How do you sit around and you say this with your chest? You say this with your chest. Oh, I know. I could see. I could tell. And so in, in out the same breath, when something happened to us, because you use that to justify, you use it to justify, you <laughs> use it. For example, Dr. Umar Johnson couldn't tell. My hope? Yeah. Right. And didn't want to do the show no more after they found. Oh, really? They, they, they he didn't want to come back. They offered. Listen. Oh, wow. He, I didn't he, know that. They, he didn't want to come back to the show. I didn't know that. He he said hope was uh, was beautiful. Yeah. An, uh, yeah. But, I, saw, but, I saw that. But it is okay. That. Why is that not okay? She is beautiful. Yes. Yeah, what what, what is that? She is beautiful. It's uh, so. What is that? She is. If you're looking at where a man looking at a woman, she is a beautiful girl. So what is that? Now you feel, oh. And then I see people saying, oh, y'all need to tell from the dough. Bitch, I, if I'm coming in the restaurant, I'm not walking. Not my, people know who I am because I'm T.S. Madison. Right. And you, you let everybody know who you are. Yeah, because I'm T.S. Right. Madison. I'm not going to just walk in the room like, hey, y'all, I'm a chick with a dick, just in case anybody wanted to know. I'm not doing that. Right. 
I don't have to disclose just the one. I seen them in that same comment section where when Lil Duval posted that shit, that he they were saying that it should be a crime for us not to say what we are just because we should be we should be locked up. When I run into motherfucking people that don't know me or don't know who I am or whatever, I'm all right with it. I'm not finna announce to the table that I'm, hey, y'all, I'm a transsexual. I was out last night eating at uh, Divine last night, and I, and I ran into, the lady said, I don't know who you are, but I know your presence lets me know that you're somebody. And then I said, Google me. And when she did, she's like, oh, my God, you're trans? I'm like, you're yeah, yes. And we all said we ate. We had a good time last night. People say, "I hope it's trans." Yes. People, didn't even know, people in your comments didn't even know hope was trans. Yes, hope is trans. And so we sat down. We ate. We had a good time last night. Me, her husband, Legra, motherfucking Jameson, Tammy. We had a really good time last night. And at the end of the day, it, it, that was my discretion if I wanted to say, I'm not fucking nobody at the table, so I don't need to walk in the door and be like, hey, y'all, here go my, here go my trans, now I'm a transsexual, hey. No. Especially in this climate right now where, where a lot of trans people are targets. As, as, as progressive as the movement is going forward, we still are in a move, we're still in a place where, 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 where trans is, is still a target. What happened, Jason Rock? Go to Jason Rock's comment. Now, what happened? It says, T.S., can you talk about the YouTuber Barad Morali doing race play for porn or below and using the N word for white guys? Into What happened? I don't understand. So I guess Rob Morali is, I guess, it's a feet play. And hold on, before we get into this, I, I need to answer this question. Okay. So T.S. Masson, do you think heterosexual men, silly question, exists, but it's hard for a heterosexual woman? So you think men who are attracted to or who find trans women attractive, you think that they're homosexual? That's the question. So you sitting here, and I know I look nice today because I feel like I really look nice today. And you sitting here and you looking at me and you know what you know. So is a man homosexual for finding me attractive? Is he homosexual for that? I'd like to know. Because 99% of the time that men who are, who are like transsexuals love are all they, they love women. They love women. So if somebody's looking at me and they look at my face and they looking at me, they look at and they like voluptuous, big titty. Big body women. And I, I, I think I look nice today. I, I, I feel it because it's most birthday. So I threw, I threw my little face on her because I knew I was going to solicit the coin. <laughs> Thank you. I, you have to stop thinking that men who are gay like gay men treat us the same way that they treat women. Gay men treat us exactly the same way that they treat women. Somebody, uh, I stand with Amber Heard said they are attracted to trans. They are not. It's rare. If there is a gay man that's attracted to trans women, it's very rare. It's rare. It is rare.
Ladies, you have to be okay with a man finding a trans person attractive. You have to be okay with that because it, it happened. You gotta be. He shouldn't be ashamed. You shouldn't shame him because of that. Especially if you're secure in who you are, if you're secure in who and what you are, you can't shame him for that. Especially if you're looking at the bitch and the bitch pretty too. <laughs> what the fuck? Especially if you with the man and you see the bitch, they, the bitch pretty too. Or she fine, you're like, damn. Attraction does not just necessarily always mean fucking. It doesn't. It doesn't always mean fucking a sucking. It's like, damn, that bitch bad. Or just bitch pretty, shit. I look at women. I find women attractive. Last night, it was some badass motherfuckers. I, I pulled up to the front door, got out my car last night. It was some badass women walking out the door. I said, God damn. I mean, it was like five of them. I said, shit. <laughs> Fuck. And the girl, I, she was, the girl was coming downstairs. She had a evil, she had a nasty walk. She was, she was really gorgeous and shapely. And I told her that. And she said, shit, I was thinking the same thing about you, girl. <laughs> I said, God damn you bad. So I just, I don't understand. I just, for the life of me, you have to get that out of your space. Like you've been so conditioned to be like, you good, Mo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, go upstairs and look on the about it, on that black refrigerator by the door and get me that bag because I want to give a shout because Anthony Brown is here okay. and I want to give him a shout out for this um stuff before we get ready to close. I'm gonna close it because so you can go and do the rest of your day. I don't want to hold your birthday up. Yeah, I do. All right, there you go. You said there's a black bag. It's a clear bag. It got it's the uh uh exotic oil masters bag. Yeah, and so you know. I deeply find women extremely attractive. I'm gonna compliment a motherfucker. If it's a a, a, a a woman that I'm like, yeah, she's shapely or she's pretty or she's like, I'm gonna say she, I, I, it attracted my attention. For me to be like, shit. This bitch bad. So you have to get this out of your mind to think that this these people are homo. Oh, or if 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 they looking at you, they homosexual. If they looking at you, master, they homosexual. <laughs> if they looking at Amaya, they homosexual. If they looking at Cherry, they homosexual. If they looking at no, ma'am. If a man is into women, sorry to tell you, boo. He may tell you one thing in your face that makes you secure. Like, oh, I know. But it's okay for his thoughts to be like, that motherfucker pretty. Well, that bitch fine as fuck. I just see other trans women and I'm like, this bitch finer than a motherfucker. Other trans women. Like, this bitch is fine as fuck. Yes, even last night, like, I, the brat is so gorgeous to me. It's beautiful. Oh, the oh, brat is beautiful, oh, gorgeous. Judy is too. Anyway, before we, before I just, I want to give a special shout out to Exotic Oil Masters. Please make sure, ladies and gentlemen, that you are following the Exotic Oil Masters on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, because if you have ever hugged me, and you have smelled me. This is, I, I usually have on something from Exotic Oil Masters. Right now, currently, I'm wearing the scent that they've sent to me. It's Chloe Narcisse. Um, Chloe Narcisse is extremely hard for me to come by now. They still have their friend. 
actually, uh, Anthony Brown, while you're watching, you can actually prepare me another Chloe Narcisse bag, please, because I've bathed in that. Bathed, washed, sprayed. It's in my purse. I just, I always need a bag. Honey, you can give me a monthly supply of that. Two times, you give me that shit every two weeks. So you use it like that. Oh, I bake. I, that's why I smell so good all the time. Like I'm lathered up in that. It's oil. Like it's on my body. It's it is so. So if you've ever ran into me, hug me, and smell me, I have Chloe Narcy. And also the Levite Levite and Bell. This also is my fragrance. So Julia Roberts from Lancome. If you can't, if you can't run down on a bitch twice. Cause that Lancome shit is a hundred dollars a motherfucking for the bottle. How big is the bottle? I got a I got a bottle of it upstairs. <laughs> but I make sure I'm very spare. I you buy this, you buy these gift sets. It's like 50, 60, 70 dollars, and you get bath wash, lotion, oils, spray, roll-ons, like $70? that's not bad. It's that's I'm telling bad, you, and it smells exact, it smells exactly. Like it exactly like it, exactly like it. Whatever your favorite perfume is, they can replicate that. And I'm not taking away from because I still buy my Lancome, my Rizuri, I still buy it, but I don't buy as much as this because I buy it just to keep the, the essence. So I can say, Here, let me give y'all a piece of this fragrance so that y'all can dissect this fragrance and have me and send me my gift bag. <laughs> Because I am into lotions, butters, creams, and sprays. I'm telling you. I'm telling you because, bitch, there have been a lot of people who I get have gotten oils and all this type of stuff from. But I'm telling you, the exotic oil masses, when they duplicated, excuse me, when they replicated that Chloe Narcisse, I was like, oh, bitch. Because because the Chloe Narcisse is so expensive that it, it, they discontinued it and there's only so many bottles of it left. And so I, the little spray that I got left of the original, I, I only, I, I keep that. But me knowing that the Exotic Oil Masters have that spray, I'm telling you, you have to get you some of this. And y'all know when I tell you what you gotta get, I don't be motherfucking lying. Anthony Brown, you say, Mo, I didn't know it was your birthday. What, what is your fragrance? What's your, what's your favorite fragrance, Mo? I usually um, wear uh, polo, polo red. That's what I usually You know he's African. He don't know too much about the American spray, but polo. I know. Surprise me. If you want to send me something, surprise me. Surprise me. I'm, as long as it gives me uh, that. Uh, Mo, you open his bag. Right here, and just you could you could get the whiff of 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 this fragrance. Right, this is this is this is uh, Julia Roberts. Um, this is my favorite too, but I got this for my mama, but she may not get it because <laughs> she ain't here. How about if she watch it? Well, at least I told her. <laughs> oh, snap. Gotta, you can smell from the hole. Just stick your nose in the hole, Mo. You see? Oh, yeah, it does smell. It yeah. smells so good. Like, I'm telling you, like, dog, don't sleep on exotic oil masters. Do not sleep on them because if you have a favorite perfume and it, and it is extremely expensive and you get tired, tired of going down there spending two or three hundred dollars a bottle for that shit, they got you. Right. For a fraction of that, no, bitch. It really, it really does feel good. I'm For a fraction of that, and I ain't taking away from the folks' business. I'm just helping the black business. <laughs> I'm doing to them what Elvis Presley did to us. Hey. hey. <laughs> yeah, I'll do. And uh, Anthony, I'll do. I'll do polo red. I, like I said, I do. I, that's when you awesome. send, when you make Mo his gift bag, send me another one of these uh, Julia Roberts, Chloe Narcisse. Um, I still got Vera Wang. I ain't worried about Vera Wang. Um, uh, Versace Woman. Oh my God, I love Versace Woman. I would love to have Versace Woman in a in a lotion. 
in a lotion oh, in so a they, bathroom. They, 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 they're able to make the lotion also? Yeah, this is Mo, this is lotion. Oh, the so bag. Julia Roberts, uh, what you call it? Yes. Own the bag oh, up. Girl, it smells good. Miss Mary, you done fucked up, girl. You supposed to be here. <laughs> you done fucked up, Miss Mary. You done fucked up. Right. Baby, they got that bag locked up. Miss Mary, you done fucked up. <laughs> I say you a little bit of it. I just bought her. <laughs> I'll save you a little bit. I just bought her. Listen, this is the this is the this is the bath wash. This is the lotion. This is the spray. This is the roll on. Oh, nice. Like it's like a layering. What I want y'all to add now, Anthony, listen to me very closely, right? Oh, this is the information. Too. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna put it, we're gonna do a mo cam on them. Okay. What I want y'all to add, what I want y'all to add to you see how that I done brought out the box and it's just yeah. doing this. You just you can smell yes, it. Yes, I done brought it out. I'm with Miss Mayor, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Mary. I love you, but I'm sorry. You smell it, Mo. You smell it. Golly, we didn't, and we haven't opened nothing. Let me tell you something. What I'm telling you, Anthony, that you guys should add. You should add like a whipped, like a whipped, uh, like a whipped butter or a whipped cream. Cause see, this is the way I do when I get out of the shower. I shower, I do a mist. Two things that you need to add to the bag, and you can up your prices on your bag. Don't tell, don't tell nobody I ain't give you this game. <laughs> Cause this is what I do when I get out of the shower. I bathe in it. Then I do a mist, like a like a like a mist spray. Not the perfume, but I do like a body mist. Okay. I do a body mist. Then after I do a body mist, I let the body mist dry on me, and then I take the whipped. I take the whipped butter of it or the whipped cream of it uh -huh. and I put it on because it's just a light. It's a light thing. Oh. I'd let that dry on me. You know, I might put my clothes on. Then I take the perfume and I put the perfume on. After I put the perfume on, I'm still getting ready. I'm getting my makeup and hair done. Then I take the roll on. And then you put the roll on. Yeah. Oh, oh. Well, wait a minute. I forgot the lotion. Cause I may put the little whistle on, but then I put the lotion. I put the lotion on my hands. I put the lotion on my elbows or whatever. It's a layer. It's the layering for me. And then at the end, the last thing that I put on is the roll. Is I roll it like this. Oh God, damn, Mama, you not getting this. <laughs> damn, Mama, you not getting this. I roll it like this because it's the oil, and I roll it here. Now roll it in the between my thighs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just in case. Now, Mo, you smell it over here, and I just rolled it no, in no, my thighs. You can smell it way over there. You got yeah. nasal problems. And, bitch, you can smell it. Yeah. Bitch. Don't worry, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, show you the uh the information as soon as uh as soon as uh we finish. I'm telling you, mama, you ain't getting this. We we y'all gonna have to make Miss Mary want to send it to her address while she home. <laughs> Cause whatever you send here is mine. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you send to this motherfucker is mine. So y'all just better give her address. <laughs> Because I know she gonna watch it. Let's say, boo, you better have my stuff. <laughs> you ain't got no more stuff. You ain't got no more stuff. What stuff? <laughs> oh, Mo, you smell it? Yeah. Oh, it really does. It's so, and it's real potent. Oh my God, it's so potent. And so, if you, if y'all have, if you guys have ran into me in person, if you have ran into me in person, I'm telling you, this is what I've been wearing. I might have on the, the 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 original spray, but this is the this is what I wear. I wear this. That's how that you would motherfuckers say, damn man, so you smell good. I smelled you come. I was out, I was out 
somewhere. Well, Tammy was asking what you were wearing last Tammy night. Tammy last night. I was out somewhere and the wind blew. Uh, uh, and the man said, excuse me, ma'am. I'm not trying to be funny, but you smell so good. I was like, uh-huh. thank you. It's Levia. It's Levia Bell from Lancome, but by way of the exotic oil mask. <laughs> so you, especially men, men, men love, men love. Uh, he was trying to sell somebody who I was with, trying to sell them something else. He stopped, He said, "Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. I need to, do this, I, need to I need to tear." I need to say that. <laughs> I need to let he say, man, the wind, the wind keep, he said, man, he said, ma'am, you smell so good. I was like, hi, hi, hi. Thank you. You know, I put on my, <laughs> yeah. 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 Twenty eight, ninety, And I done been on video for those of you who follow me. I done been on video, you done heard people say, I don't know who smells like that, but ma'am, you smell so good. <laughs> Hold it, like, ma'am, is that you? Damn! Um, people asking if we shut down the site. I don't know, Anthony Brown in the comments. There go my. That's what you send me, Tammy. Don't I be smelling good every time? They go Tammy right there, Tammy. Every time. So I just gave oh, away my. That's, that's what I be. Saying. Yeah, Tammy said it. All, but that's the secret. There go my secret right there, Tammy. So if you hold, you go over there and get you some of that stuff. You get you some of that stuff. And my secret is the secret to me constantly smelling good like that is that I have, I layer it. I get out of the shower. And I layer it, layer it, layer it, layer it. And I know some people that don't even dry this, they self off. No, I won't dry off. Yeah, some people don't dry off. No, I off. air dry it. I let it get in there. And then I go and I take the, like, okay, because you guys have it. Okay, so Anthony, if you're watching, you can send me a nut, because I'm going to get this to Miss Mary. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? Well, he might be seeing Miss Mary one. <laughs> you can send me Chloe Narcisse. Lavie F. Bell, and you can send me Chanel Chance. I paid $125 for their, for their, their it's not a lotion, but it's like a, a balm. Not, not, not a balm, it's like a cream, like a light little cream, like a hand cream or like a hand and this cream. I paid $125 for that shit. Every fucking time I put that shit on, I, I wear the Chanel, I, I bathe in the Chanel, I wear the Chanel mist, uh, I put that balm on, then I put on the lotion, then I put the perfume on. I don't have an oil for it. So I want them to make me that. But I'm motherfucking telling you, when I wear that shit, that's all the stuff that people like, baby, I don't know what you had on. Tammy, the very first time Tammy ran to me, she said, girl, my smell was still on her. I fucked this boy up one time, a long time ago, maybe about two years ago. He called me back and said, come back to this hotel room because you left this, you smell in my bed. <laughs> Come back here. I'm here for three more days. You left your smell in my bed. God, like I've been saying, I didn't want the maid to even clean the room because I smell you all in the bed. I don't play about that funky shit. Damn. Nah, I don't play that shit. And that's because how you layer it on. That's because I layer it. Listen, Magilla, if you watching, nigga, yeah, Magilla Gorilla, nigga, if you watching, we don't have the same type of motherfucker. I'm, I'm going to do this to help you because, bitch, I really don't know who the fuck you is and I don't even have a reason to dislike you. So I'm going to send it. I'm going to have the exotic. What's your P.O. box? Let me have the exotic oil masters send you something for that funky ass goddamn kitty little bitch. They'll help you out. <laughs> we need to get We need to give Magilla a set. Magilla, Magilla Cuddy. They say the site working. Okay, they say the site working. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, they about to go get this, uh, Christian Blackwood said they about to go get uh, something so. So, Anthony Brown, 
I'm putting my petition under my candle right now. <laughs> yeah, just say about the bag. She'll give it to me. Yeah, because it's going to be a man's fragrance. I don't want that. <laughs> I'm petitioning. I'm going to go on the site and figure out which one you want to text it to me. I send it to him. Okay. I'm petitioning y'all. I'm putting my petition under the candle right now for y'all. Okay. I want LaVia La Bell. This is what I just put on. I want that for me. I want um, uh, Chloe Narcy. You can always, if, don't, don't even think about it. Just always send me Chloe Narcisse. And I want you to make me Chanel Chance. Chanel Chance. Hold on, I'm about, to, I'm about to put the website. Oh, actually, Ella just actually did it for us. So if you guys want the website, that's it right here. It's all it's up on the, uh, the lower third. Tammy, you said you want to send I had on last night, girl. It was that what I had on last night was Chloe Narcisse. Oh, really? Yes, that's what I had on last night. That's what I had on last night. I had on Chloe Narcisse last night. Tammy just kept saying, "Ma, I don't know what this. Is. Ma, you smell so good." <laughs> you see what you got people starting? No, but but what what I gotta start? Yeah, don't worry. We gonna you gonna make that money, Mo. <laughs> Call black foo-foo. You're gonna make that money. Don't we're gonna we gonna come out with you a cent from your nuts. <laughs> Think it's a game if you want to. You're gonna be you gonna be like, you're gonna say, now nah, I had resistance. You gonna go do a testimony on me. <laughs> now nah, I had yeah, I had a resistance against that bitch. But when I made my first 1.2 million off of that motherfucker shit, I had to say, you know what, I got to go back and thank that motherfucker. <laughs> That bitch is truly gifted. <laughs> she saw she saw the vision. She saw what it is. She, she saw what was best for me before I did. <laughs> the Lord put me in her life five years ago, damn near. Yeah. It's been a while. It's man. been about, about yeah. I think he was about 30. You're right. You were 30 years old. Damn. Mm. And I was 40. That's crazy. It don't seem like it's been that long. Nope. It don't seem like it's been that long at all. Yeah. All right, y'all. Uh, you know, we'll we we'll do we'll come back Monday. We coming back Monday, Mo. Yep, tomorrow. Cause I don't go back, I don't start work on my on the movie I'm on until the 19th. Um, so that means that's a, that is Wednesday. Yeah, I don't start work till Wednesday. So I'm gonna be filming a new movie that I, you know, and y'all gonna be so happy and excited for the movie. Y'all gonna be excited for the thing I'm telling you, and I'm because I'm so proud that I'm doing it. And so, uh, wait a minute, you sending me a candle too? See, I can't put the candle on me, so don't worry about no candle. What I was saying was, I was I was using a witchcraft uh, a reference, putting the uh, putting the petition. Mo, you knew exactly what I was talking about. What you cast over there? You know what? what kind of candle you light up in your window at night? Anyway, oh, so I, green or pink? Uh, no, I, I, it's it's a lavender candle, so it's purple. I believe. Who are you trying to have control over? Nobody. Purple candles is for domination. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. I just Ooh, like wait a minute, I'm live. Hush. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> So what I was saying was <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so what I was saying was <laughs> <laughs> You done, you done threw me all off. I gotta go. <laughs> Just give me the fragrance. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh.
Yeah, you something else. <laughs> 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 it's that kettle one. <laughs> Y'all, hold on. <laughs> Wait, I got some last words I want to say. <laughs> I just need a second. <laughs> of our show today. <laughs> I want you to make sure that you guys uh, wish Mo a happy birthday for the rest of the couple of days. Yes, thank um, you. you know, uh, uh, and uh, my birthday is Saturday, so don't give him all the money. Save me some. <laughs> Save me a, a few dollars, you know. Uh, I want you guys to know that I love you very much, and that we will see you tomorrow. Right? Yes. We'll see you guys tomorrow, and have a blessed day. Rewatch the video from the beginning if you haven't watched it. I enjoy spending. Mo, you had a good birthday. I did. You want to really? thank anybody who sent you anything? Yes, I, I, I don't mind. Come over here. Right. You got you, you mic'd up. Yeah. Hold on. Let me. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, Let me have that. Uh. That, that. That. Over there, Mo. Oh. The. Uh, okay. I got you. Oh. Too many of my secrets be spilled, honey. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no chair. You ain't got no little squat down. You want to squat down and tell them, Mo, get put a, put yeah. a little. Oh, put the chair right there. Oh, you can sit back. The small, the small, you need a, you don't, you, you don't need a big chair, you need a small chair. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. As long as they can see. They can see. Oh, you are, no, you, you see you're so dark. Scoot over. I am. I, yeah, I, I got darker. You've been out there in the sun? Been this dark man. Yeah, you've been that blight. <laughs> oh, you just sitting next to me. <laughs> so we see, so they see the, uh. The hues. <laughs> the different hues. The color of, differentiation. I'm dark skin, light skin. Beige, fluorescent beige, bitch. I'm black. <laughs> I, 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 damn, I am black. You is real, real dog. I, I didn't know. I didn't notice how dark I was. They tell me I stand up more. You see, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell them. Who okay, are. so I want to thank uh, Christine Brown. I want to thank uh, Constance uh, and alls. Hopefully, I said your last name properly. Um, I want to take thank Flame. Uh, I want to uh, thank uh, Caleb Green, Jaya. I want to thank uh, QT Estelle. I want to thank Antonio uh, Arthur. I want to thank Sandra Bennett, Misha S. Sam uh, Sampson, uh, Nikel <clears throat> uh Chilton, I believe I said it properly. Trey, for real now. I want to take thank uh Shinzi. Shinzi Snorlax. Yeah, she's a Snorlax. <laughs> I want to thank uh PS Dyson. I want to thank uh Zukila uh Buckley. Hopefully I said it right. Damn, but they've been sending you some coins. Yeah. Madison, I want to thank Oh, that was my 40. You can thank me later. <laughs> 
I want to thank Brandy. I want to thank uh, Jahari P. Jahari P. Uh, I want to thank Anifree, uh Kennedy, Natasha Bostick, Miss Nicole, All Right Lofton Chellis, uh, Nina Williams, MJ. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you all. I appreciate it. Thanks for the love. Um, well, I got some thanks in order. Somebody did send me a couple of dollars, but, then, <laughs> but still remember to send it Saturday too. Thank you, Flame, for sending me ten dollars for a double <laughs> for a double fleet. <laughs> the bitch told me the the double fleet. What's the double fleet? That means I got it. That means that she won't be using two big bottles. The fleet. <laughs> And thank you, Star. Star said, Star sent me $5 and asked me, Maddie, can you ride a 10 inch? Google me. <laughs> Don't ask me. Google me. Google me. <laughs> big dick bitch. T.S. Madison ain't gonna bring up that no, ain't gonna bring up none of the dirty stuff. But big dick bitch, hi y'all the most shot time. <laughs> you put that in the Googles, god damn it, you gonna find out everything I can do. <laughs> Oh, Lord, that's well, your gaffe right there. Oh, well, shit, let it stay there. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, you know, I want to uh, tell you guys, thank you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have, guys have a blessed Sunday. Be good. And until tomorrow, you know, I want to let y'all know, you ain't never going to miss me. You know why? Wow. Huh? Let them know more why they ain't going to never miss me. <laughs> Let them know. I right have there. no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, no. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and I thank you. See y'all later, child. Hey, everybody. This is T.S. Madison. And if you are trying to grow your business, brand, or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. So we did. Quit talking and listen. Get over to my Patreon right now so that you can receive some exclusive content from the TS herself. Who you said? The TS. Patreon is filled with one-on-one -on -one exclusive content behind the scenes. You can even chat with me in there. Me and you. It's just me and you. So get to www.patreon.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton and you'll be glad you did. I promise. This has been a T.S. Madison and RDE Multimedia Group presentation. Hey guys, if you just enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton. Or if you're already here, click that bell up there, up there, one of them, and subscribe so that you don't miss this or any other excellent content that I have for you. Don't meet me here. Beat me here. Ciao. You right have there. no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, no. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye. Damn.